Hey, it's Tim here. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the ceiling and the floor function in Tableau. Uh, essentially, these uh, round up and round down in Tableau. So let's get stuck in. Let me show you how they work. If I hit the Superstore Sales uh, data source here, it's just a save data source. So whatever data source you've got access to, all we need to do is make sure we create a table which has some decimal places in it. So let's go ahead and bring sales in. To get some decimal places, I'm actually going to make this an average and I'm gonna put this back on label so we get an actual table. And then we're gonna break this down maybe using subcategories. So if I go get my product hierarchy here, drag subcategory down, you'll see that we get a bunch of values. Tableau does sort of look at the format and it decides to remove the decimal places. So I'll right click on this, go to format, then go to field, then select average sales. And what I'll do is I'll do number custom and I'll bump it right up so we've got lots of decimal places available to us, okay? Uh, what I will also do is I'll just go to the formatting option. So let me just go to the font here. And what I will do is I'll make the font a little bit larger so that you can see that more clearly, okay? So here we can see everything's working perfectly fine. And because we're taking averages, it ends up sort of resulting in some decimal places. So let's take a look at the first one, which is the ceiling function. The best way to think of this is a room. Um, to reach the ceiling, you have to go up, and to reach the floor, you have to go down. So that's exactly what the functions do. Ceiling rounds up and uh, floor rounds down, essentially. So let's go ahead and let's just let's just edit this field uh, in here inside of the calculation window. So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit a space. There's a little bit of a weird behavior where if you just start typing the function right next to a previous function, it sort of deletes the function that you were just uh, sort of following. So let's just type in floor here. You can see that it auto completes and it gives us two brackets. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab this and we're gonna put this here. And what I will do is I will bring the average sales back in as well so we can see this. So what I'll do is I'll actually copy this in advance. And now that we've written that floor around the average sales, hit enter, you'll see that you get these values. Now, to sort of see what that actually looks like versus the original set of values, let's just hit paste on uh, average sales. You'll see that it goes there, but it doesn't come into our table. I can now drag it into our table and we get the decimal places back. So let's have a look and see what this is doing. So essentially, this should be rounding down under every single circumstance, okay? So 215.9 should go down to 215. Essentially, it's going to the nearest whole number. Yeah, so 230.7 is going down, 34 is going down, 133 is going down. So essentially, these numbers on the right should always equal what's here on the left, essentially. There shouldn't be anything that's sort of going up or down, and that's exactly what's happened. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna double click inside of this floor function that we've written here. I'm gonna copy it again, and I'm gonna double click below to get to the new function. Then I'm gonna paste this, and instead of floor, I'm just gonna type ceiling, okay? So ceiling, you'll see that it comes up there for auto completion, and uh, we just hit enter now that it's written in there, hit enter, and now you can see that on the ceiling function, it's doing the opposite thing. And so you can sort of see which one is which. If you just look at the top here, you can see that the functions are sort of described there. That's, for, that's sort of why I wrote them in this uh, little calculation window on the left-hand side, because it doesn't create the calculations. It just sort of does the quick uh, ad hoc calculations and then it names the columns accordingly. So you can actually see the columns here inside of this table at the top, so you can see which one's doing what. Okay, so that's pretty much it. There's not much more to these functions. They're just really handy for rounding up and rounding down. Um, Naturally, Tableau, if you tell it uh, how many decimal places you want, um, will sort of make the best job of what it can do. So in this particular case, I'm actually looking at the uh, wrong thing here. If I go back and select just two decimal places, you'll see that it looks uh, like this. If I go down to one decimal place, you'll see that it actually rounds 215.9 uh, up because essentially the seven rounded up makes this round up to 216. Uh, and so that's that's basically how it works. So when you specify decimal places, Tableau is doing this automatically. If it's over halfway or round up, if it's under halfway, it rounds down and so on and so forth. Depending on the number of decimal places that you're sort of going for, it'll sort of try and make the best sense of what's going on. Okay, so that's pretty much how it works in a nutshell. Um, hopefully you found this video useful. Uh, if not, uh, please let me know what you'd like to see instead. Um, check out some of the other videos on logical functions that I've got across my whole channel. Also visit tableautim.com to watch lots of other great content uh, that I've got available. It's also on YouTube, but I think it's better to browse it there. And also join me on Discord if you've got any questions. I'm always there sort of answering questions from time to time. So yeah, check it out and I'll catch you in the next video.